instruction again of his future master. He came to Tamil Nadu and settled there and started congregational preaching, developing preaching their activity in the Salem, which is near to Sri Rangam and Bangalore. Uh, from 1999 to till now it's going on and now they are going to consider a very big temple of stone actually, very traditional temple and there's no modern utilities being utilized in the temple, no electricity, nothing. So by 7, 7.30 everybody has to sleep by force <laughs> and they have to get up early in the morning by 2 to 30, 3 o'clock. <laughs> so such a nice arrangement Prabhuji is making there and he's also a compiler of, creator of that Golok chart, it's a very famous chart. <laughs> And author of a very famous book, very important book, which some of us may have read it, mm -hmm. Who is Supreme? A very, very uh, clear book about uh, that Who is Supreme. So we're very fortunate to be here with us for the next one week. Yesterday we had a Jamaasri festival, today we have this class. And we'll be also celebrating Radha Stami coming Friday. So let's welcome Prabhuji by chanting three times. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. So, Prabhupada is well known for his Sastric seminars. If you have any topics, so please, you can propose to Prabhupada to start on that or whatever comes so, to you. What do you like to, me to discuss? You choose today's topic. Okay, I don't know whether it will be appropriate. Yes, yesterday, we were reading Krishna book, we came across the terms Pradhan, Mahatatva, and all that. Pradhan, Mahatatva. Because that is Prabhupada's topic, Gorok Chad. <laughs> 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 so, why don't we should. Okay, that could be answer. Here we have ten offenses and then Pradhana Mahatatva. Okay, anything else? Yes. Yes. Prabhuji, I would like to know something about Sharnagati, how to do Sharnagati oh. to the Lord and to his devotees and how what are the etiquettes for Sharnagati? Very nice question. I also twenty five years searching into this question. <laughs> 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 Trying to understand how to surrender. Okay, nice. Okay, so let's see, we can club all these things together. Okay. Hmm? Maybe like this. Okay, okay. Hare Krishna, welcome. Okay, so. Namam Vishnu Pada, Krishna Krishna, Utale Shima, Tibakti Vikas, Swami, Utinami, Namam Vishnu Pada, Krishna Krishna, Utale Shima, Tibakti Vedanta, Swami, Utinami. Namaste Saraswate Deve, Gauravani Prachari, Nirvishesha Shunyavati, Pashatya Deshaka, Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advaita Vedava, Shri Asati Gauravati. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Hare Rama. It's a nice, nice to see you all here. Hare Krishna. In difficult place, you are practicing Krishna Bhakti. And uh, we are all fortunate that in our life we came in touch with Srila Prabhupada's teachings, either through his disciples or through his books, or somehow or other, through prasadam, <laughs> whatever, somehow or other, uh, we got the proper guidance in life. So Srila Prabhupada, in his books, he presented the teachings of Acharyas, thousands of years old teaching, nothing new. Krishna says to Arjuna in Gita that I am teaching you what I already taught Vivasva many, many years ago. Yoga, Prokta, Puratana. Puratana means old, ancient. That science of yoga I am teaching, nothing new, Arjuna. So Prabhupada so many times said, I am not bringing anything new to you. Same, whatever is presented by Acharyas, whatever is given by Vedas, same conclusion. And this is such a beautiful thing that we read Prabhupada's book and then somehow or other we are in South India so we get commentaries of Ramanuja Acharya, for example, on Gita commentary. And see Prabhupada's purpose, you see Ramanuja purpose, which is thousand years ago. Last year we celebrated thousand years of appearance of Ramanuja Acharya. Thousand years, you know. And you see Ramanuja Acharya is speaking, Prabhupada is speaking. Just same points, one after another. You can't believe, it fills your heart with happiness because you see, this is the truth. It's eternal. It does not change. It's for everyone. And it's for all the time. It's just universally applicable. It works. It works. If we apply what he said. Give you one example, for example. Machita matgata prana bodayanta parasparam. Katayanta shumamnita. Tu shanti cha ramanti cha. So Prabhupada writes, it's a great pleasure that devotees, when they discuss harikata, they all feel transcendental pleasure. Ramanuja Chara writes there in commentary, he says, the, the beauty of Harikata is not like 
political motivated speeches, he said political, or speeches with interest, when fellow who is getting interest, he is relishing, another fellow is suffering, hearing. <laughs> <You know? laughs> or one is pretending that he is relishing, trying to impress others, but nobody is relishing, neither the hearer, neither the speaker. You know? He said the Harikatha is such, Ramanuja Acharya said the Harikatha is such, such a purifying, it's such a nectarian topic, that for advanced devotee he relish, so he can't help, he has to talk about it. And those who are neophyte, who are young, who are sadhakas, who are just, you may say, kanishta, adhikaris or whatever, sadhakas, practice sadhana, but they also relish. What is their happiness? Those who are pure devotees, their happiness is already nama, rupa, guna, lila of the Lord. They are relishing already. And those who are sadhakas, what do they relish? Just the idea that we are going to reach Vaikuntha, we are going to be one day with the Lord, one day we are going to become pure, that itself is relishable. <laughs> you know, because on our, how much we can relish actually Krishna's form, you know. We focus on Krishna's form, but mind is focusing on some other form, you know, which is inauspicious. So, like that, uh, he explained that hearing and speaking, both are relishable, because it's transcendental, it's completely purifying. It's not motivated. So both the speaker and the hearer, they can relish, you know. So Prabhupada would quote that Ananta Shesha is thousands of mouths. He said, but I cannot finish the glories of the Lord. And uh, Rupa Goswami prays, I would like to have thousands of ears, you know, to hear more and more. This is really something special, you know. So they, we are fortunate to come in touch with Prabhupada's teachings. And uh, you can see in your own life, although you are Indians, you are pious, you are brought up from the beginning in some kind of religion, maybe somebody more Vaishnava, maybe somebody into demigod worship, maybe somebody full of whatever, Sikhism or Jainism, doesn't matter. It, everything has a root in Vedic culture. And the, the little adjustments to the rules it's a, there is no issue in that. Once the path is clear, then you understand that, yes, this is the process, this is the, the, what makes more sense of everything. Um, Srila Bharata Vidya Bhushan explains this, that why so many religions, why so many divisions, why so many, even amongst Vaishnavas, there are Sri Vaishnavas, there are Madhvas, there are Nimbarkas, there are Vallabhas, there are Asgodya Vaishnavas. <laughs> so why so many divisions? So he explains one shloka beautifully. He say, Hari Charana Jushas Taram Tanyas Chitation. Hari Charana Jushas means uh, just like Gulab Jamun, how much is soaked in that jiraka, we call that sweet syrup, huh. sugar syrup. Huh? So, Hari Charana Jushas, how much we are absorbed in Lotus Feet of Hari, the aggradations of religions. Hmm. How much you are committed, how much you are surrendered. So, one God, one religion, that's a fact. But how much you follow? Mm. So when we discuss, or Prabhupada, when he discussed with others, he didn't care whether you say, I'm Hindu, I'm Muslim, I'm Christian. Say, what do you follow? You're Christian. So, why do you eat meat? There was no discussion, some, not only common ground. Oh, you also worship, we also worship, and you also pray, we also pray. No, that was not discussion. <laughs> Prabhupada won't bulge. Mm. First thing is, that what do you follow? You claim to be Christians, what do you follow? You claim to be Muslim, what do you follow? You claim to be Jewish, what do you follow? So first discussion is meat eating. There's no question of killing animals and speaking about love of God. All discussion over with Prabhupada. There's no discussion for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But Prabhupada, we could maybe Swamiji discuss about love of God. Leave love of God. <laughs> first become human. No meat eating, no gambling, no, no intoxication. First you become human, then we'll discuss about love of God. <laughs> <laughs> Keep quiet. <laughs> what you can tell? When you come in front of pure person, what can you tell? No? We are all sitting in car, taking one devotee to a doctor. He had a fever. So one is saying, oh, it's dengue. No, no, it's not dengue. Must be malaria. No, no, typhoid. Maybe it's just a viral fever. You know? We are all speculating. When we came in front of doctor, zip. <laughs> Keep quiet. He has to say he's the doctor. No? <laughs> so same thing. You can't argue with Prabhupada. You can't. It's so convincing, you know. I remember my friend. Uh, he was eccentric by nature, so he brought me book. He said, "Read this book." 
I, I, I was, we were good friends. I was always teasing him, you know. So he said, read this book and see how author will outsmart you. So I was thinking, wow, this is interesting. <laughs> so what does the book? Life comes from life. You know, so my father had scientific background, blah, 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 something, something. So yeah, I had some faith in the science. You know. So I read Prabhupada's work. Scientists, rascals. <laughs> <laughs> wow, why? <laughs> then I read. They cannot prove life comes from chemicals. Let them prove. If they say life comes from chemicals, then make your laboratory life coming from chemicals. We know all the chemicals of the body. So... Get the chemicals and make life. You cannot create life. Chicken is better scientist than you. Chicken can create life every day by giving one egg. <laughs> and I was wow, what a person. He's challenging all world, you know. And he's right. Yeah. I was amazed, you know. Just what a power, you know. What? Clear, you know. And today, look today. What is today's day? 31st August 2019, there is no proof that life comes from chemicals. <laughs> you know that? There's no proof. But we are, we are making um, genes, we are modifying genes. We are nonsense, Tyler. You are taking from living mother and living father and you are putting embryo together or you are modifying DNA, this, that. But you cannot create it. Correct? I take Mercedes car, I want the Mercedes. I take Maruti 800 and stick. Mercedes emblem on it, no? And I say, I'm driving Mercedes. <laughs> now that I'm manufacturing car, I'm just adapting from one car to another, correct? So I take from one cell to another cell, how science advance. Now in India, we heard that very famous South Indian Morise bananas. They have cockroach uh, genes. <laughs> this is modern science. You don't know what you eat. You don't know what you wear. You don't know what will happen tomorrow. You know, it's, uh, it's uncertain. Hare Krishna, please come. So when we, we, we get in touch with Prabhupada, this was such a revelation. Just somebody finally makes sense of this life, you know. Yeah? We went to, to ask priest. We were kids, okay? So there was one young priest who would like to mingle with you. So we say, okay, children, let's go and ask priest, what is this life? So we came to him. Some seven, eight of us kids, we were 11, 12 years old. And uh, we asked him, so what happens in time of death? Oh, you young boy is asking this question. You go and play football, what is the problem? <laughs> he didn't know. <laughs> he didn't know the answer. When we asked priest, what happens in time of death? He said, why are you asking this question? You young people, you go play football. <laughs> so I think, what a bogus thing, you know, come, then whom I will ask, you know? <laughs> if priest doesn't know what happens in time of death, then who knows, you know? So we were all having these questions, but then nobody gives the answer. Then Prabhupada comes, blasts everything. It's amazing. Amazing how he explains. And it's scientific. Scientific means that whoever, whenever, wherever, follows the process, it will get result. Mm. Say, uh, I'm born in Jerusalem, so if I mix hydrogen and oxygen, will I get water? I'm Jewish. Of course, <laughs> if you follow the process, you'll get water. <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir, I'm African. If I mix hydrogen and oxygen, will I get the water? Of course, you fool. You follow the process, you'll get the water. <laughs> Correct? So Krishna consciousness is like this. It does not depend what background you have. Depends what foreground you will get. <laughs> Means how much you follow. That's all. And it works. You know? And if we people, chandalas, mlechas from the West, you know, we can follow. That. You Indian people have no problem. They kept set little sleeping. Mm-hmm. Huh? Record it. Huh? Record it. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody in white for lunch after dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You kind of, you know, it's a... Uh, it's there in the culture. It's there from your grandmother was your first guru telling you Mahabharata stories, Ramayana stories, some moral stories. From where? From where moral stories are coming? From Vedas. There's no other source, you know. So Prabhupada presented so simple way. Prabhupada presented so clear. So clearly. <laughs> One day in Australia, they were debating. One young boy came. A little proud. He was a little proud. He was a little smart. No doubt. He was smart, sharp, but proud. 
But we have to do social work, right? social work, blowing in the boil. Blowing in the boil won't help. You have to purify the blood, you have to take medicine. Why are you wasting time? He said that we have to do social work. Purpose like a blowing in the boil. Mm. You know, you have a boil because you have uh, too much heat in the body. You have to treat the disease, not the boil, you know. Mm. You can't come to doctor and say, I have rashes from overeating mangoes, can you scratch a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this not doctor is not going to do that. Doctor is going to tell you, okay, stop hot, eat some cooling, correct? No, he's not going to scratch your back. So Prabhupada said all this social work is all boiling in the boil. Blowing in the boil. Because uh, temporary relief. Yes. Temporary relief. Somebody is hungry, you feed him. Tomorrow again, he is hungry. And if he doesn't really like Krishna in time of death, he is going to take birth again and get hungry again, you know. <laughs> so you're not helping him. It's temporary help. You give him prasada, tell him about Krishna, then he can, you know, actually get full benefit. So Prabhupada was clear like this, whatever, whatever. So this boy was little pushing this social work and this and that. And Prabhupada just cut, cut, cut. Sometimes in the half of sentence, Prabhupada would stop him and, you know, mm. like that. And one moment, he was a little upset, you know. He said, Swamiji, your philosophy is clear cut. And Prabhupada said, thank you very much. <laughs> 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 you understand? Because if you know the truth, there's nothing to think about, nothing to adjust, nothing to... Either you know or you do not know. You know him? You know him? Yeah, either you know him or you don't know him. Eh? <laughs> um, well, we are all souls, so we know each other. But, uh, either you know him or you don't know him. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So when you come to Prabhupada and ask question, the answer comes. Now it's up to us to accept it or not. You know, there's no question. You know, there is another Mataji challenge. One lady challenged, this was in Europe. Prabhupada gave public program. You know, Prabhupada speaks strong, clear, just Krishna is supreme. There's nothing vague, nothing light, bulb, something, you know, un, undefined, you know. No, very clear, you know. And uh, and uh, then you hear, uh, any questions? And Mother says, So, Swamiji, have you seen God? Ladies ask, bold European ladies. All right. So, Prabhupada, look like this. You cannot see? <laughs> She's looking up. <laughs> what did he see? <laughs> and Prabhupada goes on looking up. <laughs> You're not seeing? <laughs> and the lady doesn't know what to do now. You know? <laughs> you know, she lost herself. Huh? <laughs> so then, then Prabhupada, Prabhupada continued. What is the problem? You cannot see. Do you want to see? And then she put her down. I said, this is why you do not see. You don't want to see. You see, it's no question challenging, you know. You see, it's a, there is a process. That's what we are speaking. It's a science. But what is the science of seeing God? Science of purifying the senses, purifying the mind, purifying the heart. This is how to see God. Pavitram idam uttamam. Bhagavan is topmost pure. If you want to see him, you have to be pure. It doesn't work by challenge. Uh, I want to see who is the ruler here in Kuwait. Hmm? Amir. Ah, Mr. Amir. I want to see him for lunch. Please, you bring him. <laughs> ah, you'll come? Why? I'm calling? <laughs> Tell him from Salem. <laughs> <laughs> Even Brahma doesn't know where is Salem. <laughs> so you see. What, who am I to call like this? Who am I? Nobody. Am. You understand? And if he comes, uh, my visa will be cancelled most of the time. <laughs> so that's the point. What is my qualification to see God? And you're kind of, can you show me God? I can show you, but uh, you have to follow. You have to follow the process. You have to follow the process. Can I become doctor? You can become doctor, but you have to follow the process. No, you make me doctor. So how, how does it work? You come to college and professor come give you some ashirwa, then you become doctor. <laughs> no, you have to work, you have to follow the process. You have to follow the system. So Prabhupada given system, sadhana system, given by acharyas thousands of years. Shavanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Padasevan, Archanam, Vandanam, Dasyam, Sakyam, Atmani Vedam. And now we come to your question. The secret is the improper attitude of devotional service. What is that? That is simple understanding, that I am servant of God. Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur said that all the Vedas, 
You know how many books are there in the Vedas. You can fill up all this room up to the ceiling, you know. There won't be enough space, you know. The, all the Vedas, commentaries, all the Acharyas, whatever is ever being written, is just for one purpose, to convince us on a single point that I am servant of God. Once that clicks in the head, then all the world you see differently. If you put the green glasses, everything becomes green. No? If you put the glasses that I am servant of God, now I'm looking twice, I'm enjoyer. What is the Oh, very nice. Even altar. Oh, very nice altar. For my pleasure. No, it's for his pleasure. Prabhuji, we enjoyed your bhajans. But bhajans are rascal for Krishna's pleasure, not for your pleasure. Mm. If you have proper attitude, because we are trained life after life, we train ourselves. Everything is for our enjoyment. You know? Why we in every temple we see the cover plate when they are carrying offering Naivedyam, they cover the plate. Because the karma is expert, they leak through the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and they moan, what is that? What is that? <laughs> huh? You can't show them. You can't show them. Because all life we are thinking, Ishwara, Maham, Bhogi. No, I'm enjoying. Whatever we see, oh, what a nice, oh, what a nice cushion, what a nice place. <clears throat> no? I'm bluffing. It's not so nice. <laughs> so, we are trained as enjoyers. Now, by hearing from the parampara, from, you hear the truth, and that should make us awake. I'm a servant of God. Then what you see, everything you see, Krishna's. Mm. Everything is meant for Krishna's pleasure. Whatever you see, whatever you know, whatever you think, whatever tastes, smells, or has any, anything valid in it, now you do for Krishna. Mm. Then takes all life upside down. And then, then you become devotee. Mm. This is how we become devotee. That's how we train ourselves. First we train ourselves because we are not custom to think as a devotee. First you come to temple, Prabhuji, you forgot to bow down. Bow down. <laughs> First thing, oh yeah, go, turn up, go. boom, that shows me, I'm a servant of God. No? So th- it's a training. First bow down to Guru, then bow down to Krishna, then bow down to Vaishnavas, then you know, okay, okay. Hey, don't turn the back to the deities. You know, so many rules, regulations. Why? Because we for- ho- have forgotten that Krishna is supreme in joy. No? Rasovaisaha, Rasabhyeva, Ladva Anandi Bhavati. The Upanishads explain like this that once you realize Krishna is source of all pleasure, all rasas, all nectar, all bliss, Krishna is source of when you realize this, that he is in joy. Raso Vaisaha, Rasam Hevayam, Ladva Anandi Bhavati, you become happy. Actually, then only we can become happy. Because now we are competitors of Krishna. We are com- so the main attitude in devotion service for Krishna's pleasure. It's not now, now we came from the corporate world and now also we have to push ourselves in position within ISKCON. No? <clears throat> Prabhuji, so how do we get second initiation? By not asking, by serving. <laughs> ah, and if a temple president from Bangalore recommends me, is that okay? <laughs> One year extra waiting. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't work like in material world. No? But I'm life member 1111 from 1975. From 1975, still you don't have initiation. <laughs> no? yeah. so, so the attitude, this is what is Sharanagati, is attitude of surrender. The devotee really thinks just how to serve Krishna, how to serve Guru, how to serve Vaishnavas. And uh, the attitude is always about I'm not enjoyer. I'm I'm servant of God, and this is this is freedom. This is bliss. This is uh, then anything could be given to you. Anything you know. Uh, once we were in Dubai. <coughs> Dubai people are charitable. That all the time devotees are coming and they are giving and giving and giving. You know, but one devotee got a little upset. So I was like this, we had small house progress. I said, any questions you have? So he was looking, looking. I saw some commotion, you know. So I said, hello, ask the question, what's the problem? I don't know whether it's appropriate. Anyway, you start it, now you finish. <laughs> <laughs> so he asked like this. Prabhuji, how do we understand that sannyasis comes and they have the latest gadgets, latest computer, the latest camera, the latest MP3, and you know, sannyasis... I told him, Baba, the only people to sh- should have these things. 
because they are only one who will not miss you. <laughs> okay? No? You and me, we will have a Krishna's photo on phone, and then I will have Aishwarya Rai photo also. <laughs> Second one. Sorry, I don't know whose phone is this. <laughs> oh, Krishna's photo. It's not my phone. <laughs> no? You have to be honest, correct? Actually, why we are giving to them? Because they are not going to misuse. Prabhupada came to Bombay and there were all this commotion buying Juhu land. You know the story. So, Prabhupada told uh, that uh, BBT, he told to the Meshwar or some in Los Angeles, send immediately money from BBT, I want to build this temple now. So, that time it was a mess with Indian banks. One month, two months, three months, they transfer money, money is not transferred, nothing happened, you know. So, a few devotees came, brought the cash. They changed dollars into rupees. They put on Prabhupada table. Prabhupada table is like this much pile of rupees came. Mm. 100, 100 rupee notes, you know, like this much pile. And Prabhupada mm. sits down in Juhu. Prabhupada sits down and his secretary and Prabhupada takes bundle and counting. And here you have commissioner of police come. And uh, there's a Prabhupada commission. Bring him in. Prabhupada is saying, bring him in. <laughs> you know? So commission comes in. <laughs> Look at Prabhupada. Prabhupada doesn't give it. Just counting, counting. In. Okay. Sit. You sit. <laughs> so much trouble we have. You are police. You should protect us. And with bundle of money, he's threatening. You, know? <laughs> you should protect us. What kind of kshatriyas you are? You should protect sadhus. Krishna says, paritanaya sadhu <laughs> You know? You see, there is no ego. There is no... Anybody in the shop, you come. Suddenly I come in somebody's shop and you can see shopkeepers come. Immediately he puts below, you know. <laughs> <laughs> come, please, you come. He, you never show the, you know business people, no? Never show the money in, to anybody, correct? No? Prabhupada is this bundle, but no ego, nothing to hide. What you will tell to commission? What I will tell? We are collecting from America, bringing money to India, building temple, you are not helping, you have to help us. <laughs> <laughs> no ego, no, nothing to hide. He's not in joy, there's nothing illegal, you know. And this, this uh, commission of a parent say, anything, yeah, you help us, you put the guard, they should not disturb our work, you know, our people should get proper visas, and so much Prabhupada scolding him like Thinking that bundle of money like this. You can't do this, I cannot do this. You know? But there is a free transparency. He is not in joy. It's not his money. It's not his money. It's Krishna's money. It's Lakshmi. <coughs> Prabhupada called Western devotees. We are playing Ram Lila. You are monkeys and you have to rescue Sita, who is Lakshmi. You bring Lakshmi from America and we'll build temples in India. <laughs> <laughs> Prabhupada said like that. <coughs> so, that, the, all the, the secret of success is that key what Mataji has is Sharanagati. Sharanagati means definition is given. But the essence is just that understanding I'm servant of God. So now we are going to forget this. We are forgetting it all the time because we had so much strain that I'm enjoying it. So therefore these classes, Shavanam, Kirtanam, is important. The regular hearing. All Prabhupada's movement, all Krishna conscious movement, is spread through Prabhupada's giving lectures. Did not spread only through bhajans. Did not spread only through deity worship. Not only through prasad. The main thing how Prabhupada spread was lecturing, explaining, hearing. Because when is the good Shravan, good uh, Shavanam, then there is good Kirtan. Because you know, who am I? What I am? What is God? This is called Sambandha Jnana. Sambandha Jnana means clear understanding. I am spirit soul, eternal part and parcel of God. Krishna is supreme God. I am his eternal servant. Jivara Swarupa Ho, Krishna Ranitya Das. I am eternal servant. And moreover, Dasa Bhuto Hare Reva Nanya Seva Kadachana Dasa Dasa means a servant. Bhuto living entity, Hare Reva, that we are servants of Hari only. Nanya Seva Kadachana. We are never servants of anybody else. No demigod worship. Nobody else. Ekanta Bhakti is practiced. Ekanta Bhakti means exclusive devotion to Krishna. This is very much emphasized. Prabhupada was so strongly speaking about demigod worship. And it's difficult for people who are brought up in Indian culture, you know, for all life they worship Ganapati, they worship uh, Hanuman, in South India we have Kartikeya worship, we have Ayapa worship, 
We have, uh, you don't know, we have uh, Kupu Sami and Periandici and so many, <laughs> yeah, no clue how many devotees we have. Anybody from South India here? So many. <laughs> so many, that's why they are laughing happily. <laughs> no? I told in South India, South India I'm giving class, big public program. So you see, Prabhuji, how to remember Krishna? I say, you can remember Krishna all When you see the sun, you remember Krishna. When you see the moon, you remember Krishna. When you see peacock, what do you think of? I say, Kartikeya. <laughs> because South India, Kartikeya rides on the peacock. When you say peacock to us, we think of Vrindavan, <laughs> correct? But in South India, they think of Kartikeya. <laughs> so, you know, this, uh, it's a, uh, it's a, um, what do we say? <laughs> hmm? Yeah, it's uh, not allowed. Why? Because bhakti is love and devotion. Okay. Prabhupada said. Prabhupada said. Prabhupada was mild. He was so strong. But compared to Ramanuja Acharya, Prabhupada was completely mild. You know what? You want to know what Ramanuja Acharya said about demigod worship? Have you ever been to Shiranga? Yes. It's 123 acres of land. Seven avarana, seven prakaranas are there. Like Vaikuntha, seven circles are there and Ranganath. Is there. there is no one single demigod temple there. There are hundreds of temples inside. There is Andal temple, there is Venu Gopal Swami temple, there is Hanuman temple, there is Ram temple, there is a, a Danvantari temple, Sankarshan is there, Nasinga Dev is there, Tayar is there. There are so many deities, but there is no single Devata temple. Not even carving on pillar. You know? Why? Because Ekanta Bhakti. Ekanta Bhakti you'll find in Bhagavatam. You'll find uh, Bhishma there saying to Krishna, Tava Ekanta Bhakti Shu. I'm your Ekanta Bhakti. It means I never took shelter of any demigod. Why? Because Bhakti is love and devotion. Your love, your meditation, your thoughts, your devotion is focused on Krishna exclusively. You can't go for Ganapati, you can't go for this or that one, asking separate blessings. If you know that Krishna, Yata, Tarur, Mula, Nisheshanena, if he is the root of the tree, Aham, Adir, Hidevanam, Krishna is also of all devatas. If you know putting water on the root will satisfy branches, leaves, flowers, fruit, there's no need to go to anybody else. Ramanuja Chara said, just like a chaste wife does not think of any other man, even in greatest difficulty. So, Kunti Maharani, Prabhupada writes in the beginning of Kunti prayers, Shloka 1, in the purple, Prabhupada says, Kunti was called Sati here. Why Sati? Sati is chaste wife who enters into fire. When husband dies, wife will enter into fire those days. So, Prabhupada said that here in this Shloka, Kunti is a desert Sati. Why? Because he was so chaste in her devotion, she never went to any other demigods. Pritrasura is praying. <laughs> what was that? Um, how, how? Aham Hare Tava Dase Kamula. Aham Hare Tava Dase Kamula. Padai Kamula. Dasanu Daso. Bhavitasmi Bhuya. What he pays? That mighty Lord, when I will become servant, Tava Padai Ekamula, of those who worship only your lotus feet, Ekanta Bhakta. Padai Ekamula. What Krishna says? Saradharvam Paridacha. Mam Ekam. Ekam, only to Krishna. So Ramanuja Acharya says like this. Hear this one. Then you understand how Prabhupada was mild. Ramanuja Acharya says like this. There is a fire and your life is in danger. And there is only shelter Devata temple. You don't go there. You die and go by Kunta. You see that? This, this is called pure bhakti. This is called Shuddha bhakti. They will not take shelter of them. Not that we disrespect. That doesn't mean that this is respect. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to Shiva's temple, offer pranam, Shiram Yatata Divikara Vishesha, offer pranam, and said, Today I'm fortunate, I've seen the greatest of all Vaishnava. And he was dancing Hare Krishna chanting, and asked you, Bless me with pure bhakti. No? So this is now Ganapati, Yadpada Pallava Yugam Vinidaya Kumba, or uh, Durga Mantra is there, or Sishti Siti Pralaya Sadhana Shakti Reka. So, point is that now this should not be misused. We go and offer pranam. We go to Minakshi, Madhura, we offer pranam. We go to Rameshwaram, we offer pranam. No? But we don't worship. 
they don't worship. Because worship means my feelings, my thoughts, my meditation. My love and devotion is diverted to somebody else than Krishna. I give you one example. Because when difficulty comes, people go to astrologer. Okay. Now, this is tricky thing. We are Namavadis. We change holy name. And we depend to Krishna. Tattenu kampasu sumikshamana bunjana evatma kritam vipakam. Whatever bad is happening to me, eva atma kritam. I did it. Maybe previous life. <laughs> but I deserve. Krishna is minimizing whatever we are supposed to suffer. So, khidvak vapur viradana master. But with mind, heart, with words, viradana master, we worship the Lord. Jiva bhukti pade So, who has this attitude? Again, Sharanagati attitude, no? That we depend on the Lord, whatever situation. So, <coughs> so this is, this is uh, you know, essential to understand. Now the difficulty comes, we go to astrologer. Holy name will not help me, Parampara will not help me, Prabhupada will not help, Krishna will not help, but astrologer will help me. Uh, who will help astrologer? <laughs> okay, so look at this story. There was a couple, devotees, young couple, very nice people. Pious, soft, gentle, very good people. Six years marriage, no children. So finally somebody else will go to astrology, go to astrology, go to astrology. So out of desire to have children, they went to astrology. So astrologer is, you know, Tripundri. And he said, for one year you change Ganapati mantra, and you will get a child. One child will be born, 100%. Just Ganapati has to remove obstacles. Now Gopal Bhatta Goswami says that we don't worship Ganapati for removing the obstacles. We worship Guru Parampara and Mahajanas for removing the obstacles. We worship Parampara every day. They remove all our obstacles. So no need separate Ganapati worship. So they, this couple now what to do? Six years, no children. And uh, now men say, 100% you will get child, just change Ganapati mantra. And they were initiated devotees. So they say, Anyway, forget it. We cannot. We took Diksha. We are not going to change Ganapati. Mantra will change Hare Krishna. If Krishna gives children, children. Otherwise, Hare Krishna. <laughs> we'll take Krishna as our son. We'll take deities and worship him. Okay. In one year, two, two girls are born. Okay. Yeah, Hare Bol. But watch out this one. <laughs> no, no. I'm, I'm serious. Look. Look. If they had chanted the Ganapati Mantra, what will happen to their bhakti? Uh, they will think, Ganapati given two. Krishna, <laughs> Krishna did not give six years. Mm. Correct? Now Ganapati given. Correct. So they will chant Hare Krishna, but whenever difficulty comes, they will open magic box. <laughs> Ganapati. <laughs> what about car? What about job? You understand? Bhakti will be ruined. You understand? True. It's so dangerous, so tricky. <coughs> that amazing. And now their bhakti is so strong. Now their bhakti completely. That's why you say jai. Hari Bol. <laughs> but you see how tricky it is. No? Therefore we don't preach carrot showing also. Of course now in Iskon we preach left, right, ups and down. That is different. But say, look at this. One fellow told me that I went to this village and immediately I got 100 people chanting in three days. Wow, Mahabhagavatam, you know. <laughs> How you did that? You know, I, what is the mantra? <laughs> you know? I told him simply like this. Take one coconut and go 108 times around this Gornita deity he put. First day he installed the deity in the village. He came from Gulf, back to his village, installed the deity and make 100 people chant in three days. All right? So what he say? Take coconut in your hand and go 108 times around the day to chant Hare Krishna Mantra. And whatever material desire you have will be full. <laughs> so what is the result? In three days, hundred people are going around, you know. There's no place, one man donated land, you need bigger land, people are coming. You are such a great preacher, Shukadev, Avatar, something, you know. But what will happen to these people, you tell me. Hmm? He told them, whatever material desire you have, you go hundred day times, he asked them for 30 days, something, for one month, you know, and it will be fulfilled. Okay, if it does not get fulfilled, 
Man will take coconut and crack it down. Okay, your deity is not working, your mantra is not working. Correct? No? If he doesn't work. He will go to Shirdi Baba, he will go here and there. Or open market. Correct? There is fruit market, there is spiritual market. <laughs> People think like this. No? Correct? Now, if worked, say he was praying for job, he got job. Oh, mantra works. Now, next one. Next desire. Correct? When they will practice pure bhakti? Never. After million of lifetimes. You know? So this is not the best way of preaching. One day, <coughs> Prabhupada was seeing new Back to Godhead published. And they saw a uh, report from famous people all over the world about chanting Hare Krishna. So they were Ford and few rich people joined. So they said, when I chant Hare Krishna, make me peaceful. When I chant... Makes me free from stress and this and that. Probably, no. Not material falam advertised for chanting. Chanting gives prem bhakti. Not these material things. People will take it for wrong. Prabhupada stopped them publishing. 1974, back to Godhead. He stopped publishing this. Don't show the carrot. Material carrot. Baba, prem, you get love of God. Baba. Why, why you want to say? Just like you're selling diamond necklaces and you say, the main attraction is you'll get red o- reddish box with it. <laughs> <laughs> Must be a fool who will buy diamond necklace for one and a half crore, you know, f- to get red box. You, know? <laughs> but, uh, you are buying a new car and Stepney tire for free. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I could get a job in Kuwait. No? That's such a good advertisement. <laughs> <Yeah? laughs> f- this is what we do. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> This is what we do. Don't side the dish. Of course, when people come first time, I have this problem that don't worry. Chant Hare Krishna, be happy, everything will be okay. We tell them this. Correct? But we are not pouring ghee on the fire. No? We are not telling, go, go, pray to Krishna for this material, this material. Why to pray? Where is that prayer? Where is Bhakti Nataku praying for back pain and neck pain? Where is Where is that prayer? Nadanam, Najanam, Nasundarim. Nasundarim Kavitam. What is the meaning Sundar in Kavita? Nadanam, we know, is I don't want the wealth, my Lord. Najanam means I don't want followers. Now, Bhakti Sans Sarswai Thakur, Bhakti and Thakur commented on Shikshashaka. They said, Najanam means I don't want followers, means wife, family, friends, I don't want any of this. Now, Sundar in Kavita. Sundar in Kavita means beautiful poetry. Kavita means poetry. Beautiful poetry of Vedas, Karma Kanda. Now, Sundaram Kavitam. I don't want any falam. I am not worshipping you, Krishna, for material benefit. This is the prayer. Nadanam, Najanam, Nasundaram Kavitam. I don't want any material benefit. If you see Vedas, it's all about material benefit. Because Jiva came from spiritual to material to enjoy. So 90% of Vedas is Karma Kanda, gives you material benefit. I was reading, I was curious. In Europe, we say curiosity kills the cat. <laughs> so I was like, okay, let me see what is in this way. This yagya, that yagya. Is. You want to get sun. Okay, do this yagya and then if you want sun, fair complexion, soft skin, or dark complexion, stout body. <laughs> if you want soft skin, sun, then overboil the sweet rice for offering to the yagya. <laughs> and if you want dark complexion, strong body, the little unboiled rice should be there. You know? That means, what are details? You know, I'll not tell you which is the page. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Yeah? How to get the land? Atarva Veda. How to get neighbor's land? <laughs> really? How to mesmerize people? How to control their mind? How to take other men's property? All the things are there described. You know? So man gets bewildered. You get bewildered. You know, oh, this and this and this. We ask one Purohit we have. <coughs> he's a Ayar, Smarta, Brahmin, and he's a big Purohit. He's one of the few people in India that know how to do Adi Rudram, special hormone for to please Shiva. Eleven days, 111 Brahmanas they have to do. It's a very special Yagya, and he did it three times in lifetime. So now he's, you know, Padma Bhusha, nine Yagya, something. So... 
So we ask him that uh, Pandeji, so you studied the Vedas. Uh -huh. He studied all four Vedas, but he is in Yajur Veda, he is Ganapati, you know, he is Acharya there. He knows Yajur Veda and Ganapat to chant. So he really knows this Yagya, he is uh, one of the best. His name is Nataraj, very big one. So I ask him, Pandeji, what is the goal of Vedas? So many goals are there. <laughs> you see this? New Bhakta, one month devotee who reads Prabhupada's books, will tell you the goal is Veda is Chasarva, Ahameva Vedya. Krishna is the goal. Every, none of us, neither we know Sanskrit, neither we read Vedas. Correct? But we know what is the goal. This is Prabhupada's mercy, this is Guru Parampara. This is knowledge coming from authorized source. You know? Otherwise, his whole life studying Vedas, because so many Karmakanda goals are there. He said, so many goals, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Kalpa Briksha. Correct? So Krishna tells to Arjun also, Taigunya Vishaya Veda, Nistray, Guru Bhav Arjuna. Arjun, you go above this Karma Kanta. Traigunya, Traiguna Vishaya Veda. The Vedas are dealing with three modes of material. Sattva Gun, Rajagun, Tamagun, Falam give it. Nistray Guru Bhav. Nirdvandro, Nitya Sattva, Niryoga, Kshema, Atmavan. You find pleasure in the soul. So this is, this is about... about uh... So Prabhupada given us unique. Ekanta Bhakti, Pure Bhakti, Shudya Bhakti. And it's our duty to present Krishna like this. You can't now, for the pleasure of public, present a little pink color, you know. Krishna is black. You can't change this. You don't present half Krishna. Present Krishna as it is. You know, why we are attracted to Prabhupada in this moment? Because we got knowledge as it is. Mm -hmm. So we have to present as it is. We have to, of course, we have to be tactful, you know. You cannot just first day fellow boxing. Oh, you are a new one. Ah, okay, sit down. I will explain you. Tomorrow you have to come in for Mangalati, 4.30. You have to follow a Kadashal as you go to hell. And uh, if, you, if you don't follow 10 offenses, no use of chanting. Mm -hmm. You can't dump all the knowledge on his head first time. You have to be an expert preacher you have to know how to present, correct? No? So <laughs> that is there. But you can't speak something around the bushes also. We have to present like a doctor. He wants to see how much fever, this much Uzi. How do you call that? Injection. <laughs> correct? So medicine has to be given according to the <coughs> contamination. But not that something else, that we cannot. We have to speak. We have to speak as it is. We have to speak the truth and politely. We can speak politely, we can speak inspiring. Just remember, what attracted you in Christian Bhakti? That you tried to give to others also. Mm. What attracted you? I think a little bit, huh? when you came first time, what attracted you? Hmm? These waters were nice, Kirtan was nice, Prasadam was very nice. No? Dasham was nice, atmosphere was nice. No? Why it is? Because it's devotional, it's a pure. It's the same thing, we have to maintain this to, to <coughs> attract people like that, you know. We have to present. Not that now we are smart, now we show this and show that and present is going to something else. No, we, we present as Prabhupada given us. That, well, that's why Prabhupada said, don't extract anything, don't, don't add anything. Mm. You know? Just like first time I was trying to learn how to make dosa. So I asked them, so what do you make? Ah, it is uradal and rice, you grind and you put little fenugreek or buttermilk and ferments and morning you make dosa. All right. So I thought, ah, okay, got it. Yeah. First dosa went through the window. <laughs> it didn't work, you know. <coughs> Second three, I was feeding cows. Maybe I get some punya. <laughs> Then finally, I had to swallow my ego and knock on the door and say, neighbor, elder lady was this, Mataji, how do you make this butter? <laughs> she looked at my butter. What is this? Why <laughs> you tolerize it? I'm not like this. You have to grind it nicely. <laughs> so, so you have to learn from somebody who knows. Simply, simply, our speculating won't help. Prabhupada's preaching was effective. Prabhupada examples are so good. Prabhupada analogies are so good. Prabhupada uh, presenting the points is so clear. So good. Why do I have to make our own, my own now? You know, yeah. One day I was like this, speaking to one student, smart fellow in Manipal University, too smart I would say, really sharp guy. So I was 
speaking, life doesn't come from chemicals. It's only chemicals we see around. How life is not coming from chemicals? Only chemicals we see. Nothing else exists than chemicals. To say, okay, okay, but there is something, you know, subtle. There is this, uh, no, these desires, desires also dissolve chemicals in the brain. They agitate chemicals in the body, so you have the desire and this and that. I say, no, you know, that from living being, chemicals are coming. Because soul is there, body is created. Now, how can I understand this? When I see only chemical, I don't see any soul. It's an argument like this, one hour, two hours. I say, forget it. You, you, I couldn't convince him. So I said, please, you read. This life comes from life. <coughs> but because I was not convincing, he didn't want to buy a book. So I said, okay, look, I give you for free. You read. If you like it, pay me. If you don't like, give me back. Okay. Okay, I'll see. I have no time. No, you please, just give me a chance. I don't know how to speak. I didn't learn properly from my guru, but here... Prabhupada is speaking. You please hear from me. Okay. He called me tomorrow evening. Hey, I got it. I found it. What did you find? No, your Swamiji say the lemon tree, living being, produce so many chemicals, lemon acid in the. Uh, this makes sense. Prabhupada convinced him. I could not, you know. <laughs> you see, so we don't have to speculate what to tell, how to tell, you know. Like like yesterday, somebody told me, "Oh, what a nice class you gave him." Yes, I give a nice class. You know why? Because I just repeated Prabhupada's class. You know, I just took Prabhupada's class, I put on my ears, I make a point, and just like Parrot, I came and repeated. And said, oh, what a nice point. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because I <laughs> said what Prabhupada said, so some effect must be there, you know. So this is the point. This is the point that we don't have to speculate something, we don't have to manufacture new. Dosa is dosa. You're not going to make it in a different way, you know. You know, you can make ragi dosa, rava dosa, you can make, you know, so many different style of dosas. But the essential system is same, that you cannot change, you know. So this is the, the basic understanding. Look, two fo- what is your time now? I have Indian time, 2.45. 12.15. We crossed the line. We did not follow rules at all. No, 12.30. 12.30, yes. Okay. okay, so one question almost answered about Sharanagati. No, no, I have another two questions. Okay, you hold on. <laughs> okay, so one question was about uh, ten offenses. Now you see, this is big subject. Ten subjects are there. <laughs> you know? So, what is the point? <coughs> the essence to understand is like this, that holy name is the main purificatory agent, Krishna which will make us actually eligible to develop love of God. Nitya Siddha, Krishna Prema Sadhu Prabhupada, Shavanadi Shuddha Shuddha Karavila. That Krishna Bhakti is in our heart already, but has to be awakened by process of hearing. Hearing means hearing holy name also. Hearing about Krishna, hearing the glories of Krishna, Nama, Rupa, Guna, Lila, all these things. So now holy name is so powerful that even once chanted, free us from sins, Burns all the previous clay shakni, shubhada, all the things are described, and develops love for God. Why we are not developing quickly? Because of offenses. What means offenses? Means that to understand properly, properly sambandha jnana. Sambandha jnana means properly understand who am I, who is God, what is our relation. Then abhideya means how to act in that relation, how to serve God. And prayojana jnana means what is the goal. You see, we came to one temple in the bank of Narmada in Gujarat, near, uh, near Rajpipla, basically, very near there. And uh, from distance, we are hearing Hare Krishna Maha Mantra chant. So we are happy. In Gujarat, some temple is there. We are coming there, and it's called Sankirtan Mandir. I said, wow, and Maha Mantra is coming. All right. We come in, and there are some seven, eight Mayavadis, Sannyasis and other people there, all three lines wearing, you know, and uh, singing Hare Krishna Mahamant. So we are surprised. What is happening here? You know, some village in Gujarat. Okay, not exactly Raj Pipla. Near, near Raj Pipla, the bank of Narmada. And I saw their altar. There is a Surya, Durga, Shiva, Ganapati, and Vishnu. Same of five murtis on one altar. This is described by Shankara Pancho Vasana. Mm-hmm. 
The five mortals are worshipped equal. And now what they are singing? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram. Full heart, fully, you know. So we are looking, what is this? You know, how, what, how to understand this? So they call us, hey, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, come sing. So we sang for two hours, you know. Then again they sang. Villagers came, started dancing, big festival, okay. So, but all of us are, you know, a little uncomfortable, you know. This all, you know, <laughs> shy ways or whatever, you know, Shankaras, you know. So I came out and main Swamiji came out. Oh, nice you came, we do Sankirtan together, why don't you stay here overnight, we'll give you rooms, whatever you want, we take prasadam. Prasadam, no way. <laughs> Say, no, no, today Acharya appearance, we are fasting, you know. You can't take, you know. So I ask him, Did you, I can't understand, Swamiji, don't mind, want to ask one question. That, uh, I mean, you are all wearing three pundra and, you know, you are having Shankara's photo there in the ashram. And you are chanting Hare Krishna. That, how do I understand? How you started people chanting Hare Krishna? You know what he said? He said, no, I'll tell you, no, Shastra says, no, what is that? Hari, 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 Hari. Like this, he's trying to remember shloka. <coughs> We're waiting, waiting. Ah, now I remember. Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Eva Kevalam. Kalao, Nastya, 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 Gatti Ranyata. So I'm shocked, Baba. He's quoting our shloka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, Brihad Naradaya Purana. But this is in Chaitanya Charitamrita also, correct? So I say, what? How you are quoting this shloka? No. Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Eva Kevalam. No other way, no other way, not. Simply chain holy name, chain holy name, chain holy name. Nastya, 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 Gattir Anyata, to merge in the Lord. There is no other way, no other way, no other way. Gattir, Gattir means the goal, Anyata, to enter into the goal. They want to, by chanting, merge into the Lord. You understand? So they chant Hare Krishna, but they do offense of not understanding Sambandha Jnana, not understanding that we don't merge into Lord, mm-hmm. that we are Jivara Svarupa Ho Krishna Rita. Mama Evam Shojiva Loka Jiva Bhuta Sanatana. Sanatana means Sanatana, means eternally separated from Lord. Eternally individual. We are not one with the Lord. We are different. We are not same with the Lord. Never, never. Not we have ham jatu na sam. Not we name it. Not we. Not chaiwa. Not bhavishyama. Saru vayamata param. We are always there, Arjun. You, me, all these kings. We were there in the past. We are now there. We'll be there in the future. Krishna, who is liberated soul, he is speaking. He's not speaking about body. His chest is in Arjun. Why are you lamenting for body? We are eternal. He's not referring to body in this shloka. Because previous shloka, he chest is Arjun. <coughs> What kind of pandit you are, Arjun? You are lamenting for body. We are eternal. We were in the past. We are now. We'll be in the future. Means individual. So you see, these ten offenses guard us. Proper attitude in chanting and uh, proper understanding. So first offense was Satam Ninda Nana Paramam Aparadam Vitanuti Yatakya Tim Yatakata Musagari Prabhikaram. That first offense don't criticize devotees who are spreading the holy name. Why? Because they are dear to Krishna. You are not going to please mother if you are pinching the child and scolding the child. There is no way she is going to be pleased. There is no way Vishnu is going to please you criticize his devotees. Sadhu hridayamaham Sadhu nam hridayamaham Bhagavan say, I, in my heart are devotees and in their heart is me. I don't know anybody else than my devotees and they don't know anybody else than me. In Mahabharat, somebody asked Krishna, Krishna, please clarify a little doubt. There was one Rishi, he asked. He said, yes, please, I'm in your service, you're Brahmana. No, no, I, I hear in every Arjun, 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 Arjun. Who is this Arjun? There's so much glory. And Krishna lit up completely in bliss. Somebody asked him about Arjun. Arjun is one who will cut his flesh for me and I will do the same for him. This is Arjun. You see how Krishna likes Arjun, you know? Then Arjun comes and he says, Krishna, we have a problem. You have no problem, Arjun. You have no problem. And he said like this, um, too many bondas I took. <laughs> Forgot the slok. <laughs> uh, he said like this, Mamai vatvam tavai vaham. But Mamai Vatvam, 
Whatever I have, Arjun, is yours. Tavai Vaham, whatever is yours, is mine. This is our understanding. Yastvam Dveshti, Samam Dveshti. One who doesn't like you, who is your enemy, is my enemy. Yastvam Anu, Samam Anu. Who follows you, he is my follower. You see this understanding. So that proper attitude is guarded by these ten offenses. First, don't criticize the others. Second offense, Shivasya Shivishnu Ryaiha Guna Nama Di Sakala Diya Binnam Pashya Itzakalu Harinama Hitakaraha To consider names of demigods like Shiva, Brahma or anybody else to be equal or independent of names of Vishnu. This is offense. So this Mayavadis, they are chanting there, worshipping Pancho Pasana, Ganapati, Shiva, Surya, Durga and Vishnu as a one. But this offense, they will not get falaf. They will not get love of God. They may go on chanting for 10,000 years. Prabhupada said, if you chant with apparatus, it will take long, 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 long time to get purified. Like Prabhupada said like this, like you're cooking on wet firewood. <coughs> what If you cook on wet firewood, smoke will come. So Prabhupada said, you can cook on smoke for 300 years. <laughs> it will not boil your you know. So, you see, this must be clear. You know, now that I know it's difficult for people who are from Indian background a little bit, you know. At least on car, kitchen, there'll be small Ganapati. (laughs) 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 But remember Krishna. Krishna is a particular personality. He says, Yeyata Mam Prapadyante. You don't keep me in your heart, I don't keep you in my heart. I bet you don't want to miss. No? No? You keep somebody else, Krishna also keeps somebody else. Mm. It's a difficult one, it's a tricky one. Have a little faith, then you see how Krishna reciprocates, you know. So then Guru Ravagya, to consider Guru ordinary person, or to disobey, or to argue, or to, you know. That's, uh, yeah, that, you know, Shruti Shastra, Nindanam, to blasphemy in Vedic literature, the Tartavada, how to give some Monday interpretation, Harinam, Kalpanam. To think that the uh, glories of Holy Name are just imagination, just exaggeration, just like to encourage people to chant. Then, Namno Baladyasya Hi Papa Budhir, Navidyatitas Yamaj Hi Shudhi, to commit sinful activities on the strength of the Holy Name. You know? One uh, Smita Krishna Maharaj came from Sweden. He, he came, uh, we had a program in Bangalore, and all young people came. <coughs> All students came, but four years, four last year students, you know. So they are devotees, but they're a little bit, you know, into Maya also, you know, kind of like that. So one boy is asking, Maharaj, can one, for example, take beer and chant Hare Krishna also? <laughs> so Maharaj is saying, but usually won't happen when we are chanting, you know, Hare Krishna, usually we will lose taste for beer. And another boy said, no, no, Maharaj, no problem, I'm doing for months. <laughs> no problem, you can do, I'm doing. No. <laughs> so that will bring us nowhere. Prabhupada said, like a, they, they departed through the anchor, you know, and all night they are rowing. They wanted to go for marriage, but in the morning they didn't move anywhere. So like that, they said, Prabhuji, Prabhuji. Somebody asked, generally was Prabhu in Mayapur after the lecture. Uh, um, Prabhuji, um, you are glorifying holy names so much, I have faith. But 30 years I'm chanting, but this, you know, that a little dry, you know. <laughs> the, the taste is not there. But then look at the reply, generally was Prabhu. You, you fellow. 30 years you are chanting and no taste. Something wrong you are doing. Very clear answer. Now he's trying to find fault in holy name. Baba, you are not following something properly. Check your, check your list of 10 offenses. See a little bit where are you messing up. Otherwise, how it is possible? How it is possible, no? no? We, got a, we had an elder man in the ashram. And so his son purchased phone for him. Yeah? So, so, so he could speak to him from time to time. The elder man wanted to retire in the ashram. Shall we took him? Very old. He's 78, 79 years old. Vaishnav background, so culture is like this. Why should I sit home, watch TV with kids, you know, with grandchildren? Better I go to ashram. 
is actually come to us. So he came and son purchased him phone. So three days he's not picking up. So son came back to us and Peter G, what happened? You know, I gave him phone. You're not working. You're not working. Is it? Peter G put it on, you know. <laughs> <laughs> The same thing, Baba, put it on, you know. <laughs> Ten offenses, you have to switch off. So, like that. What is it? Seventh, and then eighth one. What is it? Dharma Vrata Tyaga Huta Disara Shubha Kriya Samyam. If you think that chanting is like another Karma Kanda stuff offered for material benefit, then you are not going to get Falam from chanting. Then night one is Ashadadane Bimukhe Pya Srinvati Yashyo Padesha Shiva Nama Parada. That is uh, that to instruct a faithless person. Not that we, everyone is faithless whom we are approaching first time this year in books. But point is, this refers to Guru, mm-hmm. not to give Diksha to people who are not mature. Actually refers to Guru, mostly. And tenth offense, Shutepi nama mahatme ya priti rahito naraha aham mamadi paramo namni sopya pradakrit to maintain material attachments even after hearing so many instructions on this matter. Now, so that's also, you know, a little enjoying spirit, you know. Yeah, we are devotees, but we also go a little bit Hawaii, and then we go and see a little bit Europe, and then we come back, and then we work, and then also we go to Mayapur, but we eat pizza in Mayapur, and, um, you know, that little bit keeping that enjoying spirit, you know, after hearing so much, we are depriving ourselves from nectar, from chanting the holy name, Krishna Leelas, Krishna's pastimes, Prema Bhakti, Bhav Bhakti. We are depriving ourselves by leaking outside the jar. You know, Prabhupada given that example that honey is inside and, you know. So I give you some pleasure just by looking at it and by holding it, but from outside leaking won't do, you know. So no, we are cheating ourselves by trying to enjoy material. Api pramadaha, this is eleventh offense. Api pramada is to be inattentive while chanting. This is the root cause of all offenses. That morning when we sit chanting, if you practice to hear the mantra, practice to hear the sound, don't allow mind to think other things. Takes a little time, takes a little practice. You will see what a crazy mind we have. Once you want to control it, horse is nice unless you put rope on it, you know? We have a gear cows in Salem. We brought Gujarati cows. <laughs> gear cows, beautiful cows, peaceful, easy to handle. You know. So now we brought them young. Now three years they are with us. Now bull has grown big, but he is like a pussycat. You know, pet in the. <laughs> so I was telling you know, one one life member came, one Jane person came actually. And, uh, you know, they like a cows, they wanted to see Gosha, they said, and I say, come, you can pet our bull. No, no, I'll not touch the bull. No problem, these are peaceful, you know. No, okay. That moment, the person who is cleaning, he wanted to take bull out. Mm. Okay. So bull is very nice, nothing, he was, he was not tired. But once he wanted to put rope on him, then we saw that this man was pulled like a, like a doll, like a pepper by the bull, you know, all over the property. He's holding the rope and bull is pulling him around and I look at him, what is happening? You know? So mind is like this. He looks, looks like you are controlling your mind till you try to put a rope. You know, till you tell him, okay, morning Mangalarti. What about 4.30? What about 5.30? <laughs> uh, okay, from today, no eating outside. Forget restaurants, all karmi food, all karma. Not eatable. <coughs> Only one. <laughs> Just today, last time. We couldn't manage. Very hungry. Yeah. So like this, you will see. Unless you try to control mind, you will not know how strong he is. You know. So imagine yourself, you come with some big boxer, Muhammad Ali. You heard about Muhammad Ali? Hmm? Okay, he was a heavyweight champion, you know. So if you and me go in ring with him, hmm? how much hope we have? <laughs> huh? Just hope is, let me not die. <laughs> Knock out in first round, definitely, you know. So what is the point? Now, what we can do? We can, mind is like this. 
Muhammad Ali, even bigger. Even Muhammad Ali was defeated by his mind, correct? So what is the point now? Now we have to make ourselves strong and make mind weak. Okay. So our body building means Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Krishna. Read Prabhupada's books, come for program, cut for satsanga, do some service. Then we are growing. And mind you make weak how? By not feeding him. No TV, no prajalpa, no material things. You understand? Then mind becomes weak. Then intelligence becomes strong. And intelligence we take from Shastra. Shastra means intelligence. Prabhupada say, Shastra is our intelligence. What to do, what not to do, ask Shastra. Correct? Then you tell man, shut up, crazy mind. <laughs> no, Bhakti Santa say, morning you beat him with shoes, evening with broomstick. <laughs> because it's difficult to control mind. No. Udarayet atmana atmanam, atmanam avasadayet. You uplift yourself with the mind. If you make mind pure, he thinks, you see, like here, you can see, mind was active. How to decorate alternates, how to put a bulb, how to look at night, how to put the steps. Mind was active, creative, for Krishna. Otherwise, if he was not doing for Krishna, he'll sit and think, aha, how to make myself something else beautiful for sense enjoyment. Correct? Mind is always active, but just, like, you know, you know those toys, you put, and they go, you know. So they go, 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 and when they reach the wall, they go, so you have to direct them a little bit. <laughs> so mind, you cannot stop, but you can guide him, you can direct him to Krishna, you can purify him like that, you know. So this is what we are trying to do. We are trying to make ourselves busy in Krishna consciousness. Whatever you know, devotee yesterday, <coughs> he is such a good cook. He cooked such a nice feast. No, he knows cooking. Cook for Krishna. You know, singing, sing for Krishna. Look at this beautiful drama we have. Children, they took so seriously. You saw the Kamsa, how he was acting. He was into it, you know. <laughs> Bring me the child! <laughs> you know, say, so, Baba, you know, not through the baby. <laughs> no, but they utilize the qualities in Krishna's service. This is Krishna consciousness. Whatever we know, we utilize in Krishna Bhakti. This is Krishna consciousness. So this is the beauty of Krishna consciousness. We know millions of ways how to utilize our time. <coughs> time is over. <laughs> okay, and then Pradhana Mahatattva, I didn't answer your question. But this is a tough one, you know. Can I simplify? <coughs> <coughs> Pradhana is unmanifested material nature means that all elements are there, gunas are there, material elements are there, subtle material, tan materials are there, everything is there, but it's not working, time is not there. This is, uh, example is given like this, just like you have a bike, you give bike to mechanic to service it, and he opens every single part separately and spread it all over the floor. So we came one day, where's my bike? <laughs> <laughs> so all elements are there but doesn't work so then Mahatattva means when Kala Shakti touches the Pradhana the time factor which is complex issue but anyway that is done by Icha Shakti of the Lord by desire of Lord Kriya Shakti is activated at potency of creation he carries the Jiva the Jiva Shakti <laughs> The living beings and Kala Shakti, the time factor. So when they enter into Pradhana, she becomes Mahatattva. Immediately. And that Lord does by glancing. Just by glancing, He expresses His desire to create. You know. Just like you, are, uh, you and your husband are sitting home, and suddenly <coughs> some guest comes. So what husband does? Just glance upon him. And then immediately you are running and bringing water and this and that. Everything is activated. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Previously everything was there, but was not active. But soon as moment came, it was activated. So Pradhana turns into Mahatattva, and then in Mahatattva all creation takes place. And then it was, it's a long process. It's a, then Tanmataras are created. Subtle false ego is created from false ego in the sattva gun. Devatas are created from false ego in raja gun. Senses are created from false ego in tamagun. Gross elements are created. Then you know from ether, air, from air, fire, from fire, water, from water, earth. And then goes pralaya, everything reverse back. So it's a, it's a big thing. It's a big subject. But there is a surprise.
your lady asking technical questions. <laughs> No, Pradhana turns into Mahatattva. Okay. Yeah. But it's complex, it's very complex. It's difficult to conceive. For example, uh, Prabhupada writes like this, word to word. This is exactly what he writes. He says like this, in one portion of the spiritual sky, sometimes clouds appear. The covered portion becomes Mahatattva. So Pradhana is manifested from Brahman. Okay, so sometimes it's manifested. It's not, it's not a, a, so how it goes? It's a, it's a state of, pradana is eternal, material energy is eternal, but manifested and unmanifested. Manifested, unmanifested. Manifested, this is going on eternally. Okay, so now, because it doesn't matter whether it's the state of Mahatattva or Pradhana, but Prakriti is always there. Now when it's manifested, it's called Mahatattva, it's unmanifested Pradhana, but it's eternal. Prakriti is eternal. So it's a little technical, you know. Anyway, we'll get some prasadam out there, so it'll be a little easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little technical, but it's uh, explained. Second canto, third canto, Bhagavatam. Brihad Bhagavatamrita, Amrita, Lagu Bhagavat Amrita, and uh, Brahma Samhita deals little more details are given there. And there is commentary of Jiva Goswami Bhakti and Thakur on Brahma Samhita also explained great details. It's, if you are interested, there is a, there is a, on YouTube, you can see this Goloka chart, part three, I think, part four, describing this process of creation. It's one and a half hour. We cannot, you know, they'll curse us here. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Enough talking. Okay, something practical. <laughs> okay, so you have any other question that I... Oh, there was one more question. Shall we answer this one? Or look at this time. Yeah, hmm? One more question, last question. Last. <laughs> look, this is your last question. <laughs> <laughs> never, ever ask any more questions. <laughs> What is your problem? <laughs> Please. Freely, freely ask. Now he won't ask. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm out of luck because it's not my question. Oh, okay. It's his question. Then you have bonus. Too. <laughs> so his question is that uh, because he's been preaching for some time and if some devotees for a, a period of time, they are coming to the program, attending, chanting, but they are not following the regulatory principles or uh, the instructions of Prabhupada as it is. So the question was, how do we inspire them to so that they can take it up to the next level and actually follow the four regulatory principles and things like that? <laughs> yeah. Well, you see, this type of question is, I would say, individual, you know, because. I do not know the situation. I do not know why they do not follow. Could be both side problems. Could be problem that they are not hearing properly. Some preachers, they are expert in avoiding to tell about four principles. They are expert avoiding to speak about demigods. They are kind of, be positive, speak only about Krishna. Don't mention any difficult portion, you know. But you can't do that. Then, then <coughs> people will never progress. So I don't know situation, what is the problem. You know, just like somebody was telling, be always positive. Why you have to talk about others? This, that. Okay, you be positive. You have your child, and child has to go to school. Okay, it's the first day in the school. So you take child from your house, walking, walking, walking. You come to the crossroad, and you have to be positive and tell the child how to cross the road. So you tell them, look, there is a signal light. And now you be positive and tell him, on green light, you cross. But you don't tell him about red light, because you should be positive. Correct? Hmm? So child goes next day, all right? Pitaji say, green light across. Red light, yellow light. What do I do? <laughs> you understand? You can't tell only green light. You have to tell this is wrong, this is right. You have to tell yam, yam. 
You have to tell both things. Then only you are safe. You have to tell Krishna is God and Sai Baba is not God. For example, I mean, spontaneous example. You understand? You have to tell both things. You can't tell just why you are talking about Sai Baba. I'm telling you, he's not God. To save you. You know? Now you should be polite. Why are you criticizing? Okay, thief is coming to your house and I'm your neighbor, I'm seeing. <coughs> Excuse me, sir. Some gentleman is climbing up over your fence. If she wants to check out what's this. Thief! <laughs> you understand? How can I tell politely, thief? You will not understand. Oh, some gentleman is coming. Okay. Yeah. I can I say, Sai Baba also God, Krishna also God, but Krishna is a little better God, but Sai is a little less God. Baba is not God. He's dead. You know that? He died. So, but we don't have to insult people who are first time here. You know, for example, we were invited to Sai Bhajans. So we were having all night meeting, GBC meeting, to go or not to go, to go or not to go. What do you do? <laughs> you know, it's a problem, no? <laughs> it's a difficult. So I said, Cello, we'll go and we'll tell them about Krishna. Okay. So what we did? We took over the bhajan. They told us, you play one hour, we'll play one hour. We played two hours, we spoke one hour, we left. <laughs> we brought our prasadam. We, oh, you are so nice people. We brought for you uh, halwa and chakra pongal. Sweet pongal. Huh? So they were so happy. Oh, they brought prasadam. They took, they took our prasadam. They heard our class. They heard our bhajan. You know, they purchased our books. We, we, we were fishing, but we didn't get wet, you know. <laughs> but it's risky business, you know. And what happened? One moment there was tension. You know, they brought some, some, how called Pancha Patra, this Achman Patra, full of milk, some Abhishek. So they are giving around, you know. So I mean, little, start Kirtan. So we start the Kirtan, so he comes to me and I'm playing Bredanga. <laughs> <laughs> you give to others, I'll do later. You know. so, so by the end it was finished. With, you know, Krishna protected us. You know. So you don't want to offend people. They are in ignorance. They are not bad. They are all innocent people. We got two grandmothers chanting after that. They shifted to our bhajans after that. You know, you don't want to offend people, but you can't encourage also because it's wrong. It's I read in Sai Baba book. Think of Krishna. Think of Ram. Think of me, we are all the same. <laughs> you don't want to say this. Mm. You're not going to say this. This is very bad. I read in myself, not that somebody told me something. Think of Ram, think of Krishna, think of me, we are all the same. Mm. Sai Baba said, Hare Krishna. Hair stands on the end because I read fifth canto of Bhagavatam. You're not laughing, you're not reading. Mm. Naraka Lokas are described there. <laughs> now won't be in his skin in time of that, you know. You're not going to claim I'm God. You're not God. So you know we have to tell people, but they don't like to think. Why are you speaking about uh, speak about Krishna? I'm telling you what Krishna is, what Krishna is not. They call Sai Krishna. They put Sai Gayatri mantra. You know that they change the Veda mantra. They put Sai inside name. So these are not good things. Like mm. But people flip out when you talk about others, they get hurt, they're emotional and this. What to do when you come to doctor? How much polite he can be? You have cut, he has to stitch. Huh? What he will do? Oh, poor fellow, he will feel pain, will not stitch him. He will bleed to death, Baba. We have to, you know, learn. You know? In the West we say, bite the bone, you know? Previously there was no anesthesia, so they'll put one wooden chunk in teeth. You bite and they will stitch you. Know? <laughs> so, like that. So, sometimes it's little, you know. That's why, first time when I was reading Life Comes from Life, Prabhupada, so heavy on scientists. I was just was open heart surgery, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Rascals and fools. <laughs> <laughs> then I will close the book. <laughs> then I open smoke, he's still coming. <laughs> <laughs> but by the end of the book, I was convinced. <laughs> Correct? Open heart surgery, Prabhupada does. <laughs> what to do? So we know Prabhupada spoke the truth. It works. If we apply in life, it works. Have a little faith. See other devotees. Look at Prabhupada's disciples. Look at when they come, our gurus. 
our sannyasis, look at them. They're, they're spiritual people, completely pure. They're so nice to see, to be with them, to move with them. They're disciples of Prabhupada. It works. No, Bahava Gyana Tapasa Puta Mat Bahava Magata. Krishna says, so many in the past came to me by following this process, Arjun. So we don't have to, you know, bother, you know. Okay, so make sense? I don't know, you see, either we are preaching softly or they are really spaced out, you know. So you can talk to them individually, you know. Hey, come on, what's the problem? Four principles. If you follow, you'll be happy, you'll be pure, you can help others. It's a good example after so many years. You know, it's very individual, difficult to tell some general premises. Don't know what is happening, why they are not falling. Maybe some difficulty. Sometimes lady is chanting, husband wants to eat meat, so she has to cook meat. <coughs> Sometimes difficult. So I don't know why they are not following and what principles they don't follow also. That's also, you know. So it's time, place, circumstance. But best medicine always is Read Prabhupada's books, hear Prabhupada's lecture. If Prabhupada cannot convince you, then nobody can convince you. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> Simple thing, you know. Okay, nice. Thank you very much for coming. Hare Krishna. Srila Prabhupada.